This one was the winner of the grand prize at the Taiwan Lit Awards and has been highly anticipated by the New York Times. When Keith returns to his dying hometown in Taiwan, his homecoming coincides with the Ghost Festival. His return brings a lot of ghosts, from literal ones of family members to personal ones of his sisters and his family's past, back to light. The story is like a ghost itself in a lot of ways, floating, strange, drifting through the past and the present, moving through the lives of the different characters. While Keith is the main character, it's really more of an ensemble book, with perhaps the town or the family being the main character, really. As I sat reading this one, I found myself very involved and engaged with the story, enjoying the writing style, but I realized I didn't actually enjoy the book. The fact is, the book is relentlessly depressing. Everyone in the family has a tragic story, and after a while, because there's no light, the book takes on a little bit of a soap opera feel.